All right. If you knew how to add, and if you know how to add, um, get the area of triangles, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids, this will be a breeze. But you have to put it all together. So here's what we do. We don't take time to do this because I hope you can practice that on your own. All right. We're going to learn to break a polygon into simpler parts to find its area. A polygon is a many-sided figure. Here we have a polygon. It's closed, it does that. But how do I find the area for something like this? There's no squares, there's no rectangle. I just, it's not any one certain shape. But if I use my brain, I have this rectangle, and it's very important to remember which numbers to look at. This rectangle is 1.7, 4.9. Oh, 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 how do I find a rectangle? I think I know that. Then I have this rectangle. 1.3, 2.1. How do I find the area for a rectangle? Oh. So if I do, 1.7 times 4.9. I can get the area for this triangle. Let's do that real quick. 4.9 times 1.7. 63, 28, 1, 2. You must know how to do decimals. They like to throw decimals in as if this wasn't complicated enough. All right, so 8.33 is the area for that rectangle. The area for the other rectangle, 2.1 and 1 1.3. 2.73. I've got the area for this rectangle and that rectangle. How much is the whole figure? What do I do with those two numbers? Hopefully you would see. I would take 8.33, 2.73, and I know this wasn't important enough for you guys to want to remember, but it is important in life. I line up the decimals so the place values line up. Six, zero, Carry that one. Eleven point zero six. Oh, whoopsie. Centimeters squared because it is area. Find the area of the individual shapes. Add them together. That's the entire lesson today. Some of you will go, oh, I got it, and go. Others of you will go, He's telling me the most confusing thing in the world. Think, please. Let's see how they do it. They took and broke it apart. 1.79, 4.9. Oh, that was that rectangle that was over here. 1.3, 2.1. That's that rectangle that's right here. Oh. Now, we want to find the area of each. So how do we do that? Length times width. Oh, wonderful. Length times width. 8.33. Good. Our math was good. 2.73, I think our math was good. All right, we add those together. 11.6 for the whole figure, because remember, those were shoved together. And 11.06 is the area of both of these. Now we look at this. Hmm. Well, when I look at it, I try to make it as simple as I can because I don't like to work harder than I have to. I made a house pretty. But what I really did is I made a triangle and a square. Or excuse me, a rectangle. This rectangle is 24 by 28. That gives me all this space down here below the red line. So 28, 24, 8, 11, 16, that's a 1 now. So that's 672 for that rectangle. 
how do I figure out what this triangle is? I know that if this is a rectangle, I know this bottom's 28. Okay? Hold it, this dashed line they said was 36. So from here all the way up to there is 36. From here to here is 24. I just need this part. Oh, this part's 12. Because if I go here to here, that's 24. I need to go 12 more to get to my full 36. So now for the rec or for the triangle, 28 times 12. But with a triangle, I have to divide by 2. Please don't forget that. All right. So 28 times 12, 16. All right. 8 and 1. 236 divided by 2, so that makes 118, 118. So this whole thing is 118. So the triangle is 118, the square is 672. What do I do to get both of those? I add them together! 672, 118. 700, excuse me. No. 790. My apologies. 790 is what we get there. All right. Let's go ahead and see what they did. We're going to take the figure apart. Do you see how they took it apart? They got that part as 12. Hey, we did that. And they got a rectangle. Okay. So now they want you to find each shape. Length times width. 28 times 24. 28 times 12 times 1 half, which is the same as dividing by 2. Okay. 672. 168. Oh, it looks like I made a mistake. I did with my multiplication. All right, we add those two together and we get 840 because Mr. Palm can't add. I had 118. Wonder where I went wrong. I made a mistake. Okay, they happen. All right, here, we're back to decimals. See what the two shapes are. I like to draw my lines. 5.5 times 1.9. That's going to get me my area for that rectangle. That's 45, and that's, that's 49. So that's a 5, and that's a 5. 14. 10. 45 is for that rectangle. This rectangle is 2 times 1.5. And that gets us 3. So if I want all of it together, I take 10.45, and I add 3. We must line up decimals when we add. It is a requirement if you want to get the answer right. Don't forget centimeters squared. Okay? Okay? So they're going to break it apart. You see the two rectangles they broke it apart into. Now they're going to do their math. Hopefully my math will match up this time. All right. 13.45. And we had 13.45. Hey, I got, I got it right. Good deal. I can pass sixth grade math. All right. Here again. Ooh, these are my nemeses. We're going to divide it into a rectangle and a triangle. 20 by 22, that's to get the rectangle. Length times width. 440 is this whole shape. So this is 36 from bottom to top. This is 20. So 20 to get to 36, I have to have 16 more. And I know this is 22. So we have 22 times 16 divided by 2. 
22 times 16 is 12, it's 13, it's 2, it's 2. 352 divided by 2, that's 1, that'd be 15, so that'd be 7, 14, that'd be 6. It's 176. So that is 176. All right. When we add 440 for the rectangle, because that was the area of it, and 176, we get 616 if I did it correctly. And we would want to put feet squared. Okay? So, we break it apart, they did what we did, now we have these two shapes. We do our math, alright, we get 440, I did good there. Here we get 176, looks like I did okay. Now let's see if I add it together right, we get 616, and now they put their unit on there. Alright, track Patrick, ba ba ba, excuse me, made a design. Use the coordinate grid to find its area. All right, so we must use the numbers they give us. This isn't one high, because that is five high. This isn't just one, two, three, four spaces long. It's 20 long. We must remember the units they give us. All right, let's look at the rectangles. Rectangle one, or excuse me. So we've got rectangles here, all right? Rectangle 2. So we look at rectangle 1, it is 5 by 5. So they took 5 times 5 and they got 25. Rectangle 2. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Rectangle 2 is 10 high by 5. 10 times 5 is 50. Rectangle 3 is 15 high and 5 wide. 15 times 5, 75. And rectangle 4 is 20 high and 5 wide. We have to use the numbers they give us. And that's 100. So yay, which one of them is my answer? Oh yeah, they wanted all of it. So if they wanted all of it, we can probably see that we should add them all together. And I bet you they show that on the next page. So since we have all those small ones, we add them together and we get... 250 square units. Very nice. All right. You can also count the squares and multiply by the area by 25. So that one, that 5 by 5 was 25, and we saw, oh, there were 10 of those squares, so 25 times 10 is 250. That is another way to look at it. But not when it's oblong like this. Or you can think, I like this one, this is 5 by 5, so that one little square would be 25. This square would be 25. This one would be 25. This one would be 25. This one was 25. This one's 25. This one's 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. If I have 7 groups of 25, This figure is 175 square units. Okay. We could find out each different rectangle. Like if we'd look at this one. Oh, this rectangle's 125. This rectangle is 75. This one is 50. 25 and 25 is 50 plus 50 is 100 plus 75. Is our 175. If you think about these problems, they are not overly difficult. But here's the requirement. You must think. Okay? So, rectangle 1, that one, rectangle 1. Let's see what they made rectangle 1. Okay? Oh, they divided them this way. Rectangle 1, 5 tall, 10 long. 5 times 10, they get 50. Rectangle 2, 
Five tall, 15 long, five times 15, 75. And rectangle three, five tall, 10 long, five times 10 is 50. Then we add them together, 175. And I bet you they didn't use the shortcut this time because they thought you could see it last time. All right, like you guys, have a good evening.